first moment you see it, you are in love with it. Look you in. Because that's what great movies and games do. And these are the vehicles from those movies and games. And today, we're going to see those vehicles in real life. Hey, Fire Starters. Today, we are at Peterson. Automotive Museum. We're gonna be seeing some awesome cars that are from famous movies that you've probably seen yourself. Here with me today are Look Who's Blogging and, and Generation X. Here you see a professional at work. Professional right here. <laughs> Alright, so we're just uh, taking a little walk on our way to get inside and show you all the cool movie vehicles. So this one is from the Transformer movie, Revenge of the Fallen, which was released in 2019. Here's a short clip. I'm all right, I'm... This is combat, man. Oh, brain freeze, man. What's wrong with you? Oh. Autobot twins report. Bad ass asking to come through. Kill me, kill me. Wow, that was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> but what I really like is this. Suck my popsicle. <laughs> It's dumb, but it's funny. <laughs> and so, and this right here, can you guess what this one is from? Let's see. For three seconds. One, two, three. No? It's from the movie Blade Runner, the newer one, which was released in 2017. So, pretty cool. I would like to try to drive it, but I don't think it works. Sorry. Here's a clip from that movie. Okay, can you guys guess what this one is from? Uh, three seconds. One, two, three, no? It's from one of my favorite franchises right now, Marvel. It's, uh, Actually, from the movie Black Panther. Remember that scene? Yeah, that was pretty cool. These claw marks are actually real claw marks. Or maybe not real claw marks, but they're actually engraved into the car. It's not just a sticker. Really cool. And bullet holes on it. You can see on the top of the roof, there's actually marks, scratch marks from the claws of the Black Panther. This is actually really awesome. I didn't expect to see this here. Really cool. And this, of course, is a lifelike replica of me. I'm just kidding. It's, it's Tony Stark, Iron Man, of course. <laughs> anyway, that's pretty cool. I have people waiting right there for pictures, so I'll move out of the way. But that is really awesome. All right, do you guys want to guess where this one's from? Any guesses? Hmm? I don't hear your comments. It's from Guardians of the Galaxy Part 2. Yeah, I'm sure you guys remember the scene with Kurt Russell driving this. Hollywood Dream Machines. That's where we're at right now. This is the event we're at. Just so you know, if you're looking for it yourself. All right, let's continue on. 
I, so I guess not only do they have cars from movies, but they have vehicles from video games. So here's just a quick highlight of everything else they had here. And of course we got Lightning Lipsy from the car movies. Oh look, a banana car. That would totally be cool. I guarantee you drive this, everybody will think you're the coolest person in the world. <laughs> All right, so this one's really interesting. It's like one person gets covered by the wind and bugs and the other one gets to eat the bugs <laughs> and mess up their hair. I like the rusty looking ones. It's the Libyans. Oh, is this the car? It looks like it, dude. Oh my God. They found me. I don't know how, but they found me. Who do you think? The Libyans! Holy sh Of course, if you see this, you probably know what this is from. This is from the future. <laughs> this is from the movie Tron. This is from the movie Tron, uh, the newer one, which I really loved and I hoped they would have done sequels to but um, I guess I guess they're not I don't know but look at this thing it's super cool here's one of the suits from Tron that they wore seems like it would be uncomfortable but what do I know about the future nothing and speaking of the future can you guess where this one is from This, of course, is the DeLorean from the series Back to the Future, which, which of course, was some of the best time-traveling movies of all time. And look at the detail they put into this thing. That's what's really amazing. All right, now, if I had the DeLorean, I would take it back in maybe to the early 90s or so, get, buy myself some Google stocks, and I'll be a millionaire, a billionaire by now. But the other thing I would do is to take the car back to see my mom when she was still alive and mm. just give her a hug and tell her how much I miss her and how much I love her. Oh, that's good. All right, so check this out. This is actually a miniature from the movie Fifth Element. If you remember the taxi scene. Never thought that it was actually a miniature. Pretty cool. Of course, we can't have a car show without Bumblebee. Oh my god, what are you? This is what Luke Skywalker was in when he was looking for R2-D2. This is from another movie that I really liked, uh, The Demolition Man, the Sylvester Stallone, and Wesley Snipes, I believe. Really cool, really cool. Um, looks like they put so much work into it, it's almost like a real car. I thought there was a scene where the he took control of the wheel, the wheel, it, like the car drives itself, and then he took control of the wheel. Self drive now! Malfunction. Unable to execute. Emergency! Right. 
this wheel steering wheel does not look like it's driving itself, but still cool. All right, and this right here is to one of my favorite video games ever. And no, it's not Fortnite for you kids. Halo. Look at this thing. Look how big it is compared to me. Look. I used to play this game so much on the original Xbox, it's insane. We'd have LAN parties over my house, which you don't understand what that is. That's connecting several systems together. And we would play this thing for hours at end. We would be up until like three, four in the morning playing Halo. And I would always love to be in the Warthog and drive the Warthog, or even be in the back as the gunner of the Warthog. Super cool. Look at these tires, <laughs> oh my god, it's so ginormous, so crazy. I want a real one. Buddy, how do we get a real one? Let's get a real one, me and you. <laughs> Not only was this game amazing, but the music was so epic. No movie car museum is complete without a Batmobile. Or in this case, two. This is uh, from the 1989 Batman movie with Michael Keaton, where you might also remember seeing this outfit right here that he wore. I don't know if it's the exact one or if it's just a replica. Probably a replica. All right, so of all these cars in here, if you can pick one to take home, which one would you take home? You want to go look? Let's go. Let's go find one. All right. Okay, I'm looking for a self-driving, possibly levitating car. Okay. Just awesome. one that's very futuristic. Okay, let's go look for one. Okay, so what about this self-driving car? Would you want one of these ones? Mm, it's spacious, but the table is the table is too skinny. Oh, you need so, a bigger table. So like you can't you can't play board games on it. Oh, okay, because that is important for self-driving cars. Yes. Okay, very important. I like the carpet though, it's very shagadelic. <laughs> but it can get dirty very easily. Yeah, that's true, very true. But we will have a portable vacuum cleaner. Maybe a self-driving vacuum cleaner. Or or, <laughs> there or we can put our shoes in the trunk. Oh, and then no shoes to, in the car. To treat this like home. Oh yeah, that's actually really smart. It'll stay clean. Yeah, this one is actually pretty cool. If a self-driving car looked like this, I think it would be pretty fun, especially if the seats turn around and you can face each other. And like he said, put a table in the middle, play some board games. I like that. That would be really awesome. Uh, actually, is this one levitating? Currently, no. No, is this one supposed to? Is that levitating right now? Let's see. Uh, no, I don't think so. Possibly this one. Okay. It could, it, look, it could look prettier, but it. There's no steering wheel, which means it's definitely self-driving. Okay. And it's supposed to be levitating. Oh, okay. And but what movie I've, is this rowing from? Uh, oh, Minority Report. Okay. All right, that's it from the Hollywood Dream Machines. Uh, we had a fun time, right, guys? Yep. I guess so, yeah. <laughs> nice. Some of us had a fun time. All right, so I just want to say... No, I had a fun time. Oh, okay, so he had a fun yeah. time. Okay, that, that's his example of fun. So All right. I'm, I'm gonna hop inside my DeLorean and get back to the year 1985. Spark a heart. Change your life. All right, so, uh, so, all right, so of all these videos, which, uh, all these videos. <laughs>